Tom here from Lawrence Systems and Unify 6.045 is out now. Now, 6043, along with the Cloud Key firmware update, brought us a level of confusion. That confusion is one, and this part hasn't changed, this still requires online registration to work. I don't think Unify is going to back down on that. If you buy one of their Cloud Key devices, Cloud Key Gen 2 devices like this one here, the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus, uh, you have to register this online with their account to get it working. But what they did do, the other part that seemed to upset quite a few people, and it may have been a bug. I'm fuzzy on this, and I'll explain why in a second here. When they updated it, the ability to add multiple sites disappeared, and that's what I did in my video was discuss that. And the challenge became the fact that I could go on my phone, connect the phone app to here, and add another site. And once you add one site, it worked. And people who already had multiple sites on there, they go, what are you talking about, Tom? This doesn't make any sense. I have three sites on here and I still have three sites after the upgrade. Tom's video doesn't make any sense. And it has to do with when you have no extra sites, the inability to add them. And why I say some of the confusion, and let's look at the details over here from Unify. Here's a 6043 lots of bug fixes. I can leave a link to this. I'm not going to read through them all and nothing about them changing how any of the multi-site functions work. But in here, in 6045, they added a multi-site toggle. It's not listed as a, we fixed the UI. So is it a bug fix? According to Unify, they added a multi-site toggle, but they aren't really directly addressing that I can clearly see at least of whether or not they did it. So it's just a little bit confusing when I'm looking at this going, what made them really do this? I don't know. Was it public outcry? They put it back or was it really just a bug fix? Because all of us can agree that there is always some level of QA testing. This is one of the reasons so many people message me or Hostify going, hey, is it safe to upgrade to the new version? And me and Hostify always are tweeting out once we've upgraded to the new version, which I have. I've upgraded our self-hosted instances to 6045. Um, the cloud key, we don't use it internally at all other than for demoing and showing stuff for customers. So yes, we are aware of it. We are aware that the 6045 is out. I've loaded it and it does seem to fix the multi-site issue. Now, this is where the confusing part is to me, a little bit, I should say. So here's the sites and here's the multi-site over here. Let's look at my self-hosted controller. I still have it over here where I can switch and I have it over here. So I've got both and that is a little bit strange to me that they left it in both places because it shows up in both places on all the self-hosted instance, but it does not show up in both places when it's running on a cloud key. Also, we're gonna go here to settings and you have to be in the new settings menu, not the classic system settings, controller config, site configuration, and there's where you do multi-site management. I can't really figure out because the only thing this does when we do that is get rid of this little button right here at the top. And it's not like I'm running out of space or need to scroll for this side over here. So I, I don't know why they added that. That's just kind of whatever. Uh, it, good news is it just seems to default to on because all I did was update and it's on. I didn't have multiple sites on here when I updated it. And uh, now I'm able to go in and add new sites again. So that's great. Now, one thing I want to mention is this right here. This is an annoyance that I didn't realize uh, how to fix right away until I found about the new clients problem. Let me explain this one. And this one was something that came, I believe in 6043 is when we started noticing it, when we updated people's controllers and this problem. So we're gonna go over here to my controller and it's this view right here. For some reason, when you turn on the new version, so if you're, I'm gonna go over this one just for example, this new clients, when this is turned on, which I really like it turned off, it doesn't allow you to add the category for what AP or port things were connected to. This has been a great troubleshooting thing because I can look at one particular thing like a Raspberry Pi, it's like the Octopi is plugged into front 24 uh, port number 20. Front 24 is the name of the switch and that's the port number 15 for this one here. So I can see directly where something's plugged in. You can see it still when you have the advanced turned on, but it requires going into each individual client as opposed to doing things like sorting things by the access point or port they're attached to. So that's one thing that I don't know when it came, but now it is available for those of you that have now found that you can't see and sort by which AP port. And let me switch it back just to show you. As you can see here, 
It does tell me the connection it's on, as in what VLAN it's on, but it will not tell you what port and AP it's into without switching that toggle. And this is actually a pretty big deal because this is a troubleshooting thing we do all the time. When we want to know what port is has something plugged into it, you can just sort by the port. Uh, it's just a really handy and thing I really like about Unify as far as making their UI easy to find things, but then it disappeared after one of the updates and we weren't sure where it went. This is sometimes an annoyance if you want to add new features, in my opinion, um, and they're not feature complete, as in they're missing a bunch of data that is relevant to us, uh, leave that option off by default. That's my request to Unify, and I'm not the only person who feels that way, I know. But the good news is you can turn it back on. So the update seems fine. I didn't have any problem updating the controllers that we managed to it. Uh, the cloud key updated perfectly fine to it. Uh, it did not, the, the 6045 actually came out, I believe yesterday or the day before. Um, the cloud key actually didn't get the update till today. I know they kind of roll the releases out. They don't get it the moment it hits you know, out of, comes out of beta and hits production. Um, well, the unified version of production, I should say. But at least it's out, it's available. I don't have any problem updating it. We had no issues internally with our self-hosted controller with it. The, the good news is the multi-site thing is back. Now, if only we can get them to change their mind that we have to register this device with them. But I don't think that's gonna happen. The good news is I really don't think self-hosted multi-site controllers are going anywhere. No idea why they added a toggle button for it because I can't think of a good reason to turn it off, but at least I don't think it's going anywhere. Leave your comments below and I'll leave links to those other videos. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.